Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the High Five Podcast. High Five at the Dark. I'm your host, Malcolm from Malcolm and Mary, and today we're going to be taking a peek at a beautiful product off the shelves of High Five. You see it. We've got Rochester today coming from the middle tier and the lower end of the middle tier. Um, this is the Beaver Cookies. Not quite sure what the cross is exactly on this. Don't really care. We're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open and get that terpene profile. Rochester Farms, a staple in the middle tier. Definitely nice to see a newer strain from them, or at least I can't remember us having this before, so I'm excited nevertheless. It's labeling this as a 50-50 as well. Indoor, I'm excited. Kind of get a little bag appeal, curb appeal, manicured really, really nicely. Three decent sized nugs. And packing it with nitrogen as well, um, just so that, you know, hopefully those buds stay a little bit, not only fresher, but more protected inside the bag, not getting squished as easily. Let's see. Yes, Rochester, look at that clean rip. Somebody knows how to use a heat seal. No, I'm kidding. Mmm. Definitely skunk. And sweet. I'm even going to give it a cherry. Definitely has some cherry in there. Almost like... It smells really good. It's almost like... The last thing is almost like pine... And like sap. But like not... I, want, I almost want to say pine and maple. But like... If that's the case, there's a little bit of lime with the maple. So... <laughs> we got skunk, sweet, cherry, pine, maple with lime. Um, kind of all over the place. Let's go ahead and give us another smell. Let's see if we can nail it down. I'm getting the cherry in the, in the, the, um, skunk for sure. And more than anything, it's got a sweetness to it. The sweetness is really, really nice. That cherry is very floral as well. Um, but let's go ahead and take a close look at these nuggets. And we're smoking that a streamlined Scott today, so we're only going to, you know, grind down these two little guys out of the three. The other one's the third bigger one. But as you take a peek, <coughs> hello, um, but as you take a peek, ah, can't really squeeze it. Really, really um, good moisture content, fairly dense as well. You know what I'm saying? This one cracked a little bit, but this one's super solid. And also runs along the same lines as the one bigger one. Really, really nice. As you can see, I can't even squeeze it. But manicured really, really nicely. Wish I could see a little bit more calyxes. Wish I could see a little bit more of a um, natural look to the actual bud. But, oh no. Pardon me, but... Although there might be progressive growth hormones when using and growing this, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot and see what it's all about. I'm in particular for a strain that I've never tried before. Now, I want to give a big shout out to everybody in Washington. Big shout out to everybody in Oregon. Shit, the Pacific Northwest, you know what I'm saying, as a whole. It's a beautiful day. It's been raining the last couple of days. Hopefully, everybody's got a chance to go outside and enjoy that sunshine. It's finally starting to peek its little head out. Um, and hopefully, we get ready for a sunny stretch. I'm excited for, you know, a good amount of time that's, you know, how should I say, tennis worthy. <laughs> I've only been out to the tennis courts a couple of times since the spring has dawned upon us, and Man, I can't get enough of it. It's funny, in the off-season, you forget how much you enjoy doing your outside activities until it's time to get back outside again, man. Go out there, get that exercise in, man, and enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. Man, life is so good. For the density, man, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. Moisture content, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. As far as the breakdown, well, let's see. And on the loud scale, I'm going to give this over an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's got a really nice smell to it that I was not expecting.
Yeah, really nice. And let's see, for the breakdown, it's decent. Two tiny nugs to get that much. You, my friend, have earned a 7 out of 10. Not bad, though. Beautiful. Um, 8.5 out of 10 on the loud scale. Um, now, as far as the breakdown, it's fairly even, but it, there are some parts that are a little choppy, so, you know, could be better. Do I think that I would be able to roll with this? Upon first dealing with it, yes. But really, in the bowl, I want to see how it burns. A lot of the times, if it burns fairly slowly or if the ember catches way too quickly and the fucking bowl disappears, that can depend on whether I see this as a rolling type of flower or bud. And hopefully, there's still a decent amount of this left. There was a decent amount of this left, and we still had the other two Rochesters as well. So hopefully, I can get in there and go ahead and give this a try. But... Let's jump into this, man. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take an overall account on how we feel, where we were coming from, and where we're heading. Man, I feel great. I definitely feel a little tight, as you can see me yawning. I'm in the middle of doing laundry, gotta love it. Wonderful shift this morning in the restaurant. Not too crazy, but I was riding solo, dolo, memory and control. We did it all. Big shout to Miss Lisa jumping in whenever need be, um, as always. Uh, however, as far as what I might be looking for, definitely something that's a little bit more upbeat. I have a couple of things I want to do around the house before um, my afternoon. Um, I have a wonderful date tonight, and I'm very, very excited. So... Um, you know, we just want to finish crossing our T's and dotting our I's and getting ready for that. And, you know, another big day tomorrow. So tonight, I just want to kick up, you know what I'm saying? I, should, I said kick up. I just want to kick my feet up, you know what I'm saying? Turn up and have a blast. It's going to be a good time. Um, but I would like for this experience to maybe last... I should say this. I, I would like for this experience to maybe not zombify me. <laughs> But um, still allow me to be able to, uh, how should I say, carry out the, the chores and things that I have to do before this afternoon. So with that being said, R.I.P. Ness, as always, R.I.P. Ness. Long live my brother. I love you, my brother. I appreciate you, my brother. Everything, everything for showing me everything, you know what I'm saying, for accepting me for everything and just... Truly being an amazing, amazing friend and brother, man, incredible. Um, and then uh, as soon as that goes out, man, R.I.P. Brian, R.I.P. Ralph, R.I.P. Cheryl, man, James and the rest, Uncle Joe, man, every time, man. Um, but I and I am big shout out R.I.P. I am, but nevertheless, y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know what the fuck we here for, and y'all know who I do it for too. Don't have to make my man. R.I.P. Ness. Y'all fuck me, you know who I do it for. And the funny thing is, we may never know who you do it for, man. That's the difference. But big shout out, man. Um, never never forget where you came from. Don't be stupid. You can play dumb, but don't act stupid. But nevertheless, um, let's, get, let's jump into this, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some Mary Jane. I've been losing my voice all over the place, man. I've just been really excited in life, man. You know, I just, you know what I'm saying? When you when you get excited, you get a little animated, you know what I'm saying? You start having a good time, man. And I'm just blessed to be around those who water my flowers as well as um, mind my garden. I'm going to repeat that. I'm blessed to be surrounded by people who water my flowers and mind my garden. Hmm. Some people get the first, but don't get the second. And some people get the second, but don't get the first. Well, beaver cookies, ladies and gentlemen. In 
in all honesty, much more than I thought it was going to be. Getting woody. I'm getting earthy, but I'm not getting much else after that. Slightly sweeter on that last hit. Yeah, immediately smooth wise. This is over a 7 out of 10. I, I really, I need to start doing the smoothness out of 10 after I get halfway through the bowl. Um, because I feel like the last three and four hits, that's where it can actually get like the most harsh. You know what I'm saying? But. Pleasant. This is definitely a pleasant smoke for sure. Is this smoke experience wowing me so far? I have to say no. It's really not. I need a shame. I'm looking crazy, Cara. I'm looking crazy. And look at this one. Look at this one just long as fuck. <laughs> Man. Um, also, I need to get some uh, Yaya cream for the middle. The outsides. Sorry. The outsides grow like a motherfucker. But the middle doesn't really grow that much, I feel like. Anyways. Or I should just braid them together and just keep a little... little <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to look like when I do that. But nevertheless, um, big shout out to everybody with facial hair, man. Big shout out to everybody rocking their beard. Big shout out to everybody rocking a goatee. Get you your mustache. Get you a chin strap. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure I'm missing a, a couple of the different styles. But, man, big shout out to y'all. Five o'clock shadow and everybody out there being David Beckham in their dreams. Love that for y'all. Um, no. Three hits in, and I think we're gonna make it four hits in. Here we go. The sweetness comes across as very soft. And by soft, I mean, it's not the first profile that is noticed. It's like the third, but they're all playing. All the notes are playing at over 75%. So it's very clear, you know what I'm saying? Um, you just don't notice it first. I noticed the earthy and woodiness of the actual smoke first. And then, you know, the cherry is clear. <laughs> Speaking of clear, I think that this is definitely more of a um, clear, well, I should say this. I feel like at least right away, I've been pleasantly eased into the um, stoniness. And by that, I mean... Um, but by that, I mean, and it's funny, as soon as I'm starting to say this, now the high is starting to like really present itself. So I'm like, I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I feel like this and then I'm going to say it and I'm like, yeah, but I'm starting to do this. But nevertheless, um, I feel like this is a, a true form of Girl Scout cookies, right? Or it's, I should say not true form, because um, it's not a F form. It's not an F cut, but I should say this: it's a good representation of Girl Scout cookies. Malcolm, why do you hate Girl Scout cookies? Because overbreeding, number one. Number two, it is stony. It is powerful. There's a lot of things going on, but it's not necessarily mood enhanced, in my opinion, in my experiences. 
And I feel like it's so you not you for I feel like it's so stony up top that really not much else is able to um it's like this this is a prime example. Like y'all see me struggling to get my words out. It's like girls with cookies is good for that, but then what else? Like what else? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And I feel like there are people that like this kind of high. But like I'm not, I feel like it doesn't suit me. You know what I'm saying? And also to each your own, you know, for everybody is is everything. But you know, on this I'm just like I'm four hits in and I'm already like. But now immediately I can see this being, but see, and that's the issue. The drive and energy level physically is very decent. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel tired. I don't feel body-wise. I don't feel drained or anything like that. I don't feel lazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm still ready to, you know, be awake. But my head is just going in a direction that it's like, wait, we were supposed to make that right turn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and my head is just like, nope. You know what I'm saying? And the more I keep yaya, the further down that road I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I don't know. I'm going to say right away, ease into the stoniness, but then stoniness. But then stoniness becomes very stop start. Very choppy um, thought process. And creativity, I'm giving this a negative 10. I'm realizing that I'm quick to crack a joke when I can, um, but still able to hold my composure, which I you could I could definitely see myself using in a um, seeing like this is my fucking issue. Can't figure out what I want to say like the last time. I could definitely see me using this in my type of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying socially. You know what I'm saying. I could definitely see myself. Um, Playing around, like, uh, the fuck do I want to say? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, bitch, I don't care. But nevertheless, um, but yeah, socially, I think that this is, it has its perks. I said all of that to say that. Socially, I feel like this has its perks. Um, I mean, what is all of that if I'm still not as mood enhanced as I want to be? You know what I'm saying? What I say, I feel bad, no, but it's just neither here nor there. I'm not really getting much body high at all. And now I'm actually curious what they crossed Girl Scout cookies with or whatever fucking strength something have cookies in it and then doesn't even have Girl Scout cookies in it these days so well I'm gonna say not really getting much body high but it is felt in my head I definitely feel it in my eyes I definitely feel it um around my do-rag line. And I would say, to be completely honest, I'm like, as far as stoned, I'm probably like, eight out of 10 and five hits in. So the potency is there. Immediately the potency has to be over uh, um, 
eight out of ten, and I and I think. You know, you'd be foolish to not believe that when smoking this and then also struggling to say your words like, like, bro, you're smack, you know what I'm saying? Or you're under the influence, you know what I mean? Head high, I'm only going to give this a, well, the head high, I'm going to give this like a, a an eight, like I said, I got to give it like an eight out of 10 at least. The body high, I'm only give this a three out of 10. Um, would I consider this more uplifting or sedative? I'm definitely going to go with sedative. As far as relaxing... I'll give this a two out of ten. Actually, I'll give this a three out of ten. I could, I could, I could see this as being relaxing for sure. Um, and I think the choppy brain functionality. I think that's brought to the light because I'm being forced to be not functional, but I'm being forced to be creative and social and you know what I'm saying um, oh what the fuck is the word oh my god Garth Briggs is terrible for the podcast it's literally terrible for the podcast but anyways I'm forced to be doing this you know what I'm saying um, I'm, for, I'm forced to be uh, both learning and understanding so I'm going to say it's terrible for podcasts um, but I think without all of those things this if I didn't have to do any of those things and I was just laying back watching the movie this would be fire and also if you haven't seen Split or Glass on Netflix go ahead and check that out because that's that movie's about me. I haven't finished Glass yet. I've been watching it for the last four days straight. Literally, I've been watching it for the last four days straight. And I've made it to like 19 minutes and I keep watching the same exact beginning again and again and again saying tonight's the night. It's not. Um, let's see. But yeah, I think that it would indeed be relaxing if I didn't have to worry about all those things. Um, so immediately I'm going to say movies, not only task free, care free type of day. That's what this strain is best for, in my opinion, for myself. Um, as I knew this. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, phenotypes definitely lean different ways and, you know, can they exhibit different um, highs. So, something to think about. As far as functional versus not functional, immediately this has to be not functional. Immediately not functional. Um, I would probably say four... Uh, I'll say four hits. Like if I, when did I initially um, start to feel the desired effects? I'm giving it four hits. Um, R.I.P. Ness once again. Um, that motherfucker loves Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> but also he was quiet in there playing his guitar. But nevertheless. Um, definitely not a social high. I, well, it's a social high, but it's not a accurate. I don't know if accurate is the right word. Not a fluent. Well, Malcolm, I did say fluent in Portuguese. Fluent. Okay. Fluent. I think I'm right. My phone's all the way in my room. I think that's right. Somebody check me. Um, but yeah, fluent social high. Um, would I consider this like 
potency wise. I'm going to go ahead <coughs> for the potency, and I'm going to give this a very solid 8.5 out of 10. It hasn't continued to increase the amount of head high that I'm feeling physically or the amount of body high I'm feeling really at all. So I'm nowhere near uncomfortable. I'm more, you know... I'm more irritated at the amount of times I'm not able to say what I want to say fluently than I am uncomfortable as far as a potency. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Let's see. I can see this being good for a day, not necessarily daydreaming, but like pondering. You know what I'm saying? If you got something on your mind, and you just got to run it through a couple times. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Ari today. I was talking to Ari. And they were like. Sometimes you just got to sit and think. Because one of our uh, co-workers was all the way across the restaurant. And he just staring. Like literally just staring into nothingness. Um, and it was Chrissy. Big shout out to Chrissy. You know what I'm saying? I love him so much. So I'm over there looking at him laughing. You know what I mean? I said, Ari, look. And Ari said, hey, sometimes you just... You just need a moment. Sometimes you just got to think it, think it through. Um, but yeah, Chris was in a stone cold, like daydream pond out the window. And that shit was mad funny. Um, big shout out to Chrissy, man. And he, he's getting it in today, playing at the Nest. Man, you know he's going to play table tennis today. I had the date. If I didn't, man, you knew I would have been there, man. It's going to be a great time. Big shout out to the Nest. If y'all haven't been to the Nest, go hit it up. Um... So Chris can give you that word. You already know. Already know, man. Big shout out to Chris. Um, but easy outs. Easy outs only. <laughs> man, big shout out to Chris. Easy out. <laughs> but um, I would say, you know, um, and like for instance, if I didn't have my date tonight, would I get up and go play ping pong? No, I can't say that I would leave my house. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that I would leave my house voluntarily. Um, maybe if it was like a party and this was the only thing I had to smoke and it was, you know, 8.30 and the party was at 10. Okay, and like it's like a birthday or some shit like that. It's like, okay, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll go for that. But I wouldn't leave my house otherwise, really. Um... Would I now roll this up in a joint? Do I know if I would roll this up in a joint? No. And I really wouldn't put this in the bong again either. <laughs> I just feel like it's just not my cup of tea, man. It's just not. You know what I'm saying? It's a, I'm not, it's, man, it's a decent high. I feel, now I'm starting to feel euphoria as well. Um, coming around my head, I'm getting a nice um, sensation around my shoulders also. And really, the, the theme of the high is the concentration on the eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm noticing my eyes before every thought, before every action. You know what I'm saying? My eyelids are low. You know what I'm saying? Great eye strain as well. Um, so definitely no driving. What wouldn't recommend? Definitely. Like I said, I don't even feel like getting up and walking outside. You know, I don't even feel like doing that. Um, you know what I'm saying? And... This is something that I can see being pretty good for, like, um, I can see this being okay for anxiety, but I probably wouldn't recommend it for anxiety. I think it's better strains for sure. If said, said, do you enjoy your experience with this product? I'm going to write. 
Um, properly priced. This could be in the budgetary, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to personal preference and personal experience. Like I said, it's in the middle tier. And it is an additional 20% off on Wednesday. Okay. Maybe on Wednesday, sure. If you know you like Girl Scout cookies, grab it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a great, you know, um, sm no, I can't say great. I think it's a good smoke as far as like smooth and flavor and stuff like that. Um, but, man. As far as the... Um, as far as the creativity being a negative 10 and not being as mood enhanced and as I would like. Um, but when I say that this is tired, when I, say this, when I say that this has made me tired, no, I just kind of feel the same. Um, would I recommend carrying this in the store? No. Because really what they need to do is bring back the biscotti. That's what they should do. Well, it's what everybody who's anybody wants them to do so go ahead and send the spam emails out it's about time <laughs> man big shout out man big shout out to marshall doing this thing um did you enjoy your experience with this oh yeah, i said that already um yeah i mean once again this is the beaver cookies from rochester It feels like a very generic high. I just, I don't really know how else to describe it. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. I was excited for Mary Jane before I got started. And now all of a sudden, I'm contemplating how long this might even last so that I can get back to being my more excited state. Um, because it's a definitely an exciting afternoon. Like I said, man, we're just really excited. For that. Not necessarily excited in the moment right now because of this Girl Scout. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I'll write it in the link below in the bio if you know I'm able to fulfill and do all my chores speedily or efficiently. You know what I mean? I'll definitely um, make a little note of that, but I'm like, don't really feel like doing much. You know what I mean? Definitely don't feel like doing much. And as this high continues to set in, I'm like, yeah. I think I would have went with Old McDonald or maybe even High Guys if it's a good one or Blaze if it's a great one. You know what I mean? Like, well, let's, let's give this another good yeah, yeah. Here we go. Trying to see, it's almost like, I feel like it wants to have like a earthy, like kind of like GMO beefy taste. But then it just becomes like a flat white. And it just gets like, you know what I mean? Just kind of like, and it's not like a creaminess that covers it. It's like a greenness that covers it. Which is, it's not like in a chlorophyll way, but it's like that pininess, but like not the good kind of pine. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a grassiness that comes over the flavor. It's like at the beginning, like it wants to go and be like mushroomy and like, like beefy, but it just doesn't. I feel like smoking is becoming more and more of a chore. I'm definitely getting higher, and I and after that hit in particular, now I feel it even more in my shoulders. I definitely feel it in my uh, chest as well, my lungs. Hence, why therefore it feels like a chore to continue to keep smoking for sure. 
But we got this. My thing is this. I've got a three hour and 30 minute window until it's date night. And here's the difference. I need to be sober. Because this one I like. But nevertheless, it seems as though this has brought us to that scale of 1 through 10. Would you recommend? Overall, I'm going to give this a very solid 5 out of 10. Actually, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. All data preference. Big shout out to everybody worldwide enjoying Mary Jane. Um, like I said, would I recommend? Probably not. Um, but maybe on a Wednesday if you're, you know, budget shopping. And you some people just like to hear that it's a discount. And we love that. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? If a discount makes you happy, yes, you should grab it. You know what I'm saying? You don't you talking to the love of sale king. Come on now. Um, but anyways, big shout out to Rochester Farms. Rocking and rolling. Malcolm, what's your favorite food with it? Starting with an R. Five, four, three, two, one. Rutabaga. <coughs> wow. I, I for I and I don't know why I wanted to say verdicchio. I was like verdicchio. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, Michael, that does not start with an R. Nevertheless, um, it seems as though this has brought us to a close. I want to give a big shout out to everybody smoking weed and enjoying Mary Jane worldwide. Because um, she's just so great. Mary Jane. Everybody listen. Okay, class. Let's hear you say it. Chicken wing. Ooh. Big shout out to Chrissy. Um, but okay, class. Let's hear you say it. Mary Jane. You're the best. And we love you so much. That's right. Remember to say hi and humble, y'all. <laughs> and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.